welcome back to our channel. If you're passionate about UI UX design and dream of working with top brands like Swiggy, Zomato and more, you're in the right place. Because today's video is all about how to build a UI UX portfolio and get hired by top brands. We're going to unlock the secrets of creating a portfolio that not only showcases your creativity and skill, but also resonates with industry leaders. Whether you're just starting or looking to elevate your career, a powerful portfolio is your golden ticket. We'll cover everything from selecting your best work to presenting it in a way that grabs attention. So let's dive in. To build a career in UI UX design, you need a good solid portfolio. It is the most basic requirement to be hired by top brands. This brings us to the next and the most important question. How do you build these good and solid portfolios? Let's say you want to revamp the Swiggy app, giving it a new color palette, typography, new icons, and a new process of checking out more quickly and simply. When you add this work to your portfolio by specifying the entire design process from problem to solution, your portfolio demonstrates your creativity, attention to detail, and decision-making skills. This becomes a getaway to your professional career. Now, let's look at the tips and tricks of making your portfolio stand out and understand the process of building a portfolio. Watch the video till the end and if you haven't subscribed to our channel, hit the subscribe button and the bell icon right away. Now let's break down the key elements of making a portfolio that's irresistible to top brands. First things first, define your brand. You're not just showcasing your design, you're selling a brand. That's you. I am a brand. Define your unique design voice, your style, and what sets you apart from the crowd. Then, know your audience. Understanding the purpose of your portfolio. Are you making it to attract new clients? Do you want to showcase your work to potential employers? Or do you want to network with other designers? Answering these questions will help you choose the right format to present your work. Since we are going to talk about getting hired by top brands in this episode, I will be focusing on that. This is a very you have to understand what recruiters and clients are looking for in your portfolio. Are they looking for experience or are they specifically looking for certain skills? To answer these questions, you have to put yourself in the recruiter's shoe. After going through your portfolio, the employer should be able to answer these questions about you. What kind of UI UX work do you do? Do you create user-friendly design? What is your design process like? Do you have excellent problem-solving skills? What are you passionate about? Do you have the years of experience needed for the job role? Have you completed a variety of design projects? Any recruiter will look out for these answers in your portfolio. So clearly, your skills overpower your experience in the hiring process. A common mistake that designers make while submitting their portfolio is that they do not customize it. Whether it's a UX research role or a UI UX design role, they send out the same portfolio everywhere. Know and understand your recruiter's needs. Showcase your work in your portfolio as per the job role. Now moving on to the third step, curate your best work. Remember designers, Quality over quantity always. Handpick your best projects that demonstrate a range of skills. Whether it's a mobile app, website or a redesigned concept, showcase your versatility. Remember, each project should have a story, the problem, your solution and the impact of your design. For example, we all might have been in a situation where we wanted to order different items from multiple restaurants in Swiggy but we weren't able to do it due to its interface. One of our mentees decided to give a solution to this problem by redesigning the Swiggy interface. As you can see, post his user research, he worked on user flow and final UI and came up with this result that allows multiple restaurant orders in one go. What do you think of his approach and solution? Let us know in the comments below. Moving ahead, let your portfolio showcase quality work. Let's say that persona development is a strength you have then you can include screenshots of some of your best user personas along with details about what each persona represents. Now, if you're thinking that you don't have enough good examples to show, then I would suggest you put an extra effort and work on a mock project. If you're a fresher and you have no projects to show, taking up these mock projects is the best solution for you. For example, redesign how the buttons and options look in the Nika app, design a landing page for Flipkart or create a digital menu for a restaurant. The project may be mocked, but your work and skills are real. And that's what matters. It's true. But do remember to mention that your work is based on hypothetical situations. If you think you need guidance on working on such projects, you can join my captain's next cohort for UI UX design. And for that, you can find the link in the description below. Now, coming on to the fourth step, which is to show your process and show a range of your work. Even though it's important to highlight your major skills in your portfolio, Always remember to show the range of knowledge you have. Don't just show the final product. Take the hiring managers on a journey. Walk them through your design process. From initial sketches to wireframes and prototypes. Highlight your problem solving skills and decision making process. This not only showcases your expertise, but also gives potential employers a glimpse into how you approach challenges. Another approach for this is to present case studies. 
case studies are basically the story of how you design something. It starts with the problem and ends with the best possible solution to the problem. Take a look at the portfolio of one of my captain's learners. We can see here how he has done an in-depth user analysis, competitor analysis, used flowcharts and included each process with specific reasonings on why he worked that way. You can also include sketches, screenshots or other work in progress iterations that led up to this completed work. That way, hiring managers will know your approach to challenges and how skilled you are in solving them. One more important aspect to showcase in your portfolio is to make it clear that you understand the end user by showcasing your user-centered design approach, which includes case studies with user testing insights, feedback and how you iterated based on user needs. This not only demonstrates your commitment to creating user-friendly designs but also builds trust with potential employers. In a mobile-centric world, responsive design is also non-negotiable. Demonstrate your ability to create seamless user experiences across various devices. And now, coming to the fifth step. Choose the right platform for your online portfolio. Platforms like Behance, Medium, Notion and Ribble are some of the most commonly used by designers. But before choosing the site you want to use, try to establish your goals. If you plan on keeping adding work as you go, then you may need an option that allows you to host multiple projects. If you intend to use the site throughout your career, make sure you're able to maintain your domain name in the long run. You can use platforms like Behance, Notion, Dribble, Webflow's free plan and other free options that might be something you could go with. One more important thing, your style has a lot to do with the platform you use. For example, if you're someone who likes minimalism, you can consider Notion as an option. They keep it simple yet professional. However, some are more unconventional and may want to use Webflow, Xyro or Squarespace and some might want to customize their portfolios on Figma. Irrespective of your platform you use, your work should be properly presented in your portfolio. Depending on the platform you choose for yourself, your portfolio landing page should have thumbnail previews of each case study. Including a short description of each UI UX project makes it easier for recruiters to determine if any of your previous projects are relevant to their needs. For example, if a recruiter is looking to fill a UX design role in the restaurant industry, they can navigate right to the project you did for a local restaurant instead of clicking through several projects. So designers, these are some of the major factors that you need to consider while building your portfolios if you want them to stand out among top brands. And if you're looking to build a career in it, we've got you covered with our UI UX design program that makes you industry ready. For that, find the link in the description below. That's it for today designers. If you like this episode, don't forget to like the video and share it with your fellow designers. And if you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, go subscribe now so you don't miss out on the coming episodes. We have a lot in store for you, so stay tuned.